Thwip Thwip. Welcome back, Achievers, to your special spoiler cast of Spider-Man Miles Morales. <laughs> what? What are you doing already? I was right before the intro. I was literally about to go. <laughs> I think Thwip Thwip, close to Sneak and Banff, are, are some of my favorite... Mm -hmm. uh, Automatopoeia? No. Oxymorons, I believe is what it is. I think an oxymoron is when the sound is... You pronounce it how you hear a sound. Um, too dumb for this. But <laughs> Sneak, of course, Wolverine. Banff, of course, is the Nightcrawler. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, 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 teleportation. And, of course, Thwip. Thwip is the known Spider-Man web-swinging. Alex, mm. we played Spider-Man Miles Morales on a ps5 this is of yeah. course a spoiler class if you're new to those and new to us first off welcome thank you for clicking basically we spoil the game we talk about it discuss it review it kind of talk about everything we liked didn't like talk about the plot story elements anything is on the table for a spoiler cast so if you like that stick around if you don't you're in luck. Easy Achievers has plenty of content for you to go through. You go over to our YouTube, our SoundCloud, our Spotify, anything of the like. Click on another show and come you back really to us when you're done. You think we thought, you think we talked about, you have to click an episode to just figure out if we did talk about it. There you, you go. Have... Yeah, see, there you go. I don't you know what he's talking about. All the way through, though. Yeah, all the way through. Done. All the way through. You, you have to, you know what? Just play. A pl put a playlist on. Just let it go. Just let go. Yep, just let, just let, let go. Just let, it just let go. Just, you know, put it on. Do some dishes. Not vacuuming because you have to listen to it. You yeah. Know, just, uh, just a sweet. You know, just chill. <laughs> Dance around the kitchen. Who knows? Yeah. I like that we have rules for these, mm -hmm. uh, for the achievers. Because, like, we don't want you to be doing too much, right? Driving a car, that's fine. Vacuuming, that's too much. It's mm -hmm. too much. The vacuum's too loud. Unless you got one of the electrical ones. I feel like those aren't as loud. You talking about the little cordless ones? Yeah, yeah. No, yeah, they they still got some some. Do they? Some, some now, yeah. I, okay. Um, yeah, no, I I when at the my past job that I used to use one. All yeah. You hear is. <laughs> like it's like it's pretty loud. I is are the, what are they called? Um, the robot vacuum ones are they loud? The Roombas. Yeah, Roombas are those loud? I have no idea. I've never actually seen one in person. It's always on TV shows, but like, no, for sure. When they're going around, like, I, I feel like you hear a little, I've but like maybe the very nothing first too crazy. Time I saw one. I went to someone's house and I saw it sitting on the side, and I didn't really know what it was yet, so I looked at it and I was like, "What the fuck is that?" Uh huh. <laughs> and then the person had to explain to me that like it was like a new thing, mm. and I was like, "Oh." Uh, Okay, like I was so confused of the concept that the robot knew, like where the vacuum, like where to, where to vacuum. I remember when I was first introduced that as a child, and my father explained to me how to work. I was like, how does it know where to go? And he's like, oh, there's a little sensor in the front. And I was like, oh, okay, that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Similar to like maybe a little toy helicopter or something, or now that we see with drones and things like that. Alex, yeah. mm -hmm. we're not a Roomba aficionado podcast. No, no, no. We are a video game podcast, and I'm not going to go through the full schmeal. I think you guys know patreon.com slash easy achievers if you want to support us financially. If you are a free user, remember, like, comment, subscribe, share. But first, let's get into the actual thing at hand. Spider-Man Miles Morales, of course, launched this year, only a few weeks, on the PS5 launch. First launch title. I think one of the best launch titles, most likely ever, in my opinion. It's definitely one of the best ones in a long time. Don't know if mm -hmm. it's the best one, but it's definitely one of the one of them. Yeah, it's it's definitely one of the best launch titles I think ever, ever pound for pound. If you compare it through like you know mm -hmm. time base and things like that, this was of course made by Insomniac, recently purchased by Sony Interactive Entertainment. Um, they were purchased about a year or two ago for a large sum of money, so they are now a first party Sony uh, under Sony's first party giant umbrella that they have. So, this was, of course, published by Sony as well. So, Sony published, produced, and Insomniac developed the game. This is, of course, a spin-off of the 2018 Spider-Man game. Mm -hmm. uh, no, 2017? Am I wrong on that? 
It's 20, no, 2018. I'm correct. 2018. I looked it up real quick. 2018. Was 2017. That's what I'm thinking of. Marvel well, Spider-Man, yep, yep. of course, made as well by Insomniac. Clearly, a second team made this game while that game was in development. And wow. Let's just get into it. Giving it a little background. This is, of course, a spinoff and continuation. Since we're starting from Marvel Spider-Man, let's get right at the beginning, I feel like, with introducing to miles he has the powers this is of course where we left miles in the last game that was one of the end credit scenes where miles shows peter he has powers yep and you get more of a mentor son relationship i feel like since miles recently lost his father in an attack Mm -hmm. he now looks to peter as this father-ish figure i would say yeah somebody somebody to look up to yeah that's a, that's probably a better way of putting it someone to look up to someone he wants to be eventually right he calls him yeah. he doesn't generally call himself spider-man i love that's uh something they bring up his friend um yeah i'm blanking on his friend's name can you help me genki. out alex thank you genki i knew it was g something genki points out is uh he you know when he points it out he's calling him out it's like when you say spider-man you never refer to you as spider-man and that really hit hit me for a second i was like that's true he does not so he didn't really see himself as spider-man which is really cool because i don't i I mean i'm sure he's probably like i don't think i'm good enough well of course right yeah and we see him at the very beginning i mean i don't think it's his fault at the very beginning but it does seem very much like he almost messed everything up (laughs) Uh, because because he does get kind of blamed for that (laughs) a little bit it, I, I feel like that was going to be way bigger, by the way. I thought most people in, like, the um, world were, like, going to be against him and blame him for that. But it didn't seem like that was going that way at all, which is probably for the better because we've seen that so many times. So that's probably for the best. Mm-hmm. Um, and I didn't m- mention this at the front, but, of course, we have the cast. Um, I'm going to butcher this. Uh, Nadji Jeter? I believe is Miles Morales, of course, is the, our main protagonist. Yuri Laurenthal is Peter Parker. Jacqueline Pignol is Ryo Morales. Fred Tedesiri is Rhino. Darren DePaul is J. Jonah Jameson. Troy Baker is Simon Krieger. Griffin Patu is Genki. Ashley Birch is Danica. Jasmine Brown, Finn Mason, otherwise known as the Tinkerer. And Ikamati is or Aaron Davis, the Prowler. Yep. First off, fantastic, fantastic cast, I feel like. I do think um, Mr. Jeter, Miles, um, I had to go to his level. I feel like at the very start, I was like, oh, he seems like really kiddish. But then I feel like in the middle, we get like a sweet spot of like, he's still kiddish, but like, he, you know, he's talking like a teenager. Yeah, I thought, and, and he looked so. I didn't think he looked that like when he puts on the, what what is it called the 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 one that Peter gives him the the suit that Peter gives him. Uh, call, not classic suit. Uh, yeah, it's like. A, um, oh God, I'm blanking on the name. I, I don't remember either. The other day. Yeah, me too. Uh, this is embarrassing. Anyways, the that suit, the the very first suit you get from Peter, it looks mm. first off, it looks terrible. Second off, it makes him look like really stringy and thin. And I like that later on we get a full transformation into that new suit that makes him look much better, quicker, of course, beefier, stronger. I like that. No, yeah, definitely. I'm, uh, I never understood with that suit why I had knee pads. Yeah, I think I, I can only assume we aren't supposed to like it. Cause, um, I, think it was the, I think it was called the Great Responsibility. Yes, suit. it is. Thank you. Yes, it is. Um, I assume we're not supposed to like that. We're supposed to look at that and be like, oh, that's lame, and then be really excited when we see the new one. Because we're supposed mm-hmm. to expect... I mean, I was. I was expecting the regular suit, right? Like, the Miles Morales suit when he was I given was that. I was thinking he was, they were going to give us the original one that, you know... Uh, the, the classic uh, suit. The classic suit. Yeah. Well, no, uh, it's Peter's original suit. Like, yeah, the classic... got the white. Yeah, the, yeah, yeah, the classic suit is what it's called in the game. Ah, gotcha, gotcha, okay. Yeah, so I, yeah, I, I could see that too, but I really thought he was just handing Miles his suit, and I was like, oh, wow, we're getting into this. But then he puts on that lame-ass suit, and I was like, oh, God, that looks like I'd buy that at a store as a child. First off, I had one of those as a child. Mm-hmm. I never took it off. I loved that thing. Mm-hmm. Alex, 
Mm. We're sticking with the story. Please, at any time, go to something you want to talk about. But what, something I want to bring up right now. Okay. Dyna- my favorite part of most games, especially first person, or sorry, especially story based games, something that revolves around a story. Relationships. Yes. I love at almost every relationship, right? I love Miles with Genki. Mm. The quick. First off, it sounds like conversations that we've actually had. First off, because because sure. yeah. Genki and Miles have this brother brother uh, relationship, which is really nice. The very Puerto Rican relationship he has with his mother, which I appreciate, and that reminds me of my childhood very much. Oh, I, yeah. Hanging yeah. out with my Fifi, like my God, everything about it was insane. Mm. Then the relationship he had with Tinkerer, of course, we don't know at the time. Yeah. Um, even though I, I'm glad they didn't keep us in the dark for that long because it was pretty obvious she was the tinkerer at the beginning there. No, for sure. As soon as I popped up, uh, like Finn popped up in like that 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 um, Christmas scene. Yeah. And I saw her. I was like, she's the tinkerer, isn't she? <laughs> like, I immediately guessed. I, like I figured, I had a feeling because first she was like she's a girl that pops up randomly, and she was wearing purple. Mm-hmm. A lot of things do it to where like the enemy that's wearing a certain color. The end, the person their alter ego is wearing that thing. Oh wow! Well, I didn't even think about that. Now I I actually did guess it, but I was a scene behind you. Mm-hmm. So the very next time you meet her, they are talking on that uh, was that a rooftop or no maybe uh, the coffee right shop or whatever something like that. Yeah. And they go, oh my god, why don't we hang out enough? And like, oh, we're just busy. And I go, he's Spider Man. What's her excuse? And I go, oh, she's Tinkerer. And then the very next mission is um yeah is the is the bridge scene and I, and then you find out it's her i was like oh, okay all right so i was correct yeah, and I, yeah that's how that's what, when they mentioned it i i looked at it and i was like i knew it because it, like, it, it was like I, I, as soon as she popped up at the door i was like mm, my my spidey sense is tingling mm, you you're tingling now i will say i'm glad i i, I will echo this again i'm glad they didn't hang on that because because if they were gonna make it that obvious get it out the way I said the thing, get I said it out the, the way same thing i was like because when they, they showed it off i was like oh oh wow okay they actually like didn't did, didn't drag it i'm actually I'm glad mm-hmm. alex any other relationships that stand out to you i did respect to the prowler ish relationship they had yeah um, I, yeah i was gonna say i i did like that um I also enjoyed how Peter sometimes would call in all the way, even though he was across, like, like, like overseas, and he was yeah. like, hey, man, how you doing? Yeah, when he calls when the bridge happened, hey, I can come in in the morning. He's like, no, I got it. I got it. it was, yeah. That was pretty cool, too. Um, yeah. And I, I, I'm, I was about to jump into the final scene, but we'll talk about that later. But um, The community. I loved the community. So, first off... I don't think I've ever said this about a video game, mm. but even the, you say it, the community, the a supporting cast of yeah. people that I couldn't even tell you their actual names. I just know them of people, but like the guy who ran that shop who had Spider-Man, the cat. Tail. Tail, yeah. Tail's uh, uh, bodega. Like stuff yeah, like that bodega. was so, so strong and it made the ending even, even stronger with oh, sure. with everyone helping the community it, like i don't think i've ever had a game where i literally was like oh my god i can't let something happen here or i actually care if this block gets blown up like most of the time it's nameless faces of just random people you don't care about but they, literally they had you develop relationships through side missions um yeah. which was in the end of the line of course brilliant if you do it all you of course miss it if you don't do any of that stuff but you save that older lady who got abducted um oh, yeah. yeah you you help out tail like two or three times um mm-hmm. you help feast which was really cool uh the the head i forget her name but she's like the head of feast and her girlfriend you help them out a couple oh, times oh, oh god yeah i know who you, yeah i remember what you're talking about and i, I haven't even touched on my favorite relationship uh, I, and again, I'm terrible with names. Um, God, what is her name? I don't want to just say the deaf girl, <laughs> but her name's Haley. Thank you, jeez. I I apologize. I'm I'm terrible right now. But Haley 
if yeah, you, and she gives you and she gives you the winter the winter suit. the winter suit yeah that could have so easily been lame right oh, dude I, I loved it as soon as she i loved it, it she popped up it was awesome so cool and he knows sign language too he knows a l a s l or a l s sorry um no a, no a s l it's, 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 it's a- american, american sign american sign language he he knows it. That's a that's such a cool feature. Like, it makes so much sense because he's a huge nerd. Of course, he would know sign language. Yeah. And he, and you just have a second. And he just communicates sign language to her really quick. And, and that's such a nice little moment with your character and and a side character. And I and I love the little the little glances she was given. You know mm-hmm. the little you know you know you could tell something's there. I do hope that uh, gets ironed out in a, in another game because they look like they are super into each other and i love yeah, that they'd be like how you doing yes uh i love that you see people throughout the game you know you saw i don't know if you got the first playthrough but she was in the very beginning no no yeah yeah, yeah like, doing like, the you, mural you by and you, you help the guy with the with the uh with, with the with the sofa with the couch thing yeah you, you do the sofa her, you walk yeah, to the left the you talk to the guy by the way such a great interaction is like what about the new guy he's like ah but i like the og and i was like oh that is such that is such a talking to the viewer moment yeah where how many comic book people have you heard say that yeah about miles because no like uh, people who are playing miles morales are don't really know miles so it's kind of like when you see you know people who are going into this game you're like oh i don't know if i'm gonna like this spider-man because i like peter it's the same like concept that it's, is you know oh, the, it, it what about the new guy I, yeah i don't know uh, then, uh, yeah i'm an og kind of and that was so well handled right because that is what people say and then in the end he proves himself and he gets put on the mirror there's such great yeah. moments scattered throughout the game and it's just fantastic i love it i, I love it i can't i can't sing the praises enough i think it's clear that i love it and alex loves it um so I, I guess we're we're basically finished up with the relationship. I do want to touch more on Tinkerer. Yeah, I think that was handled relatively well. Yeah. Um, of course they they go just like every comic book does. They do go very over the top with how smart they are. Mm-hmm. This this teenager was able to develop this giant tech for hundreds of guys this to is, yeah, you know you gotta converter. yeah you gotta you know you know kind of you know she she made programmable matter like you kind of have to be in a realm of disbelief but i'm fine with that i'm watching a guy have spider powers cling to walls and run a building so i'm fine with that but a couple of my favorite parts was him handling the relationship with tinkerer Mm -hmm. and i actually got excited when he was like hey i think (laughs) my one of my favorite parts was genki was like hey why don't you just tell her you're spider-man he's like i don't think i'm supposed to he's like well you told me and that was such like a yeah you you did tell him so like why why don't you tell her and and he eventually well i guess he doesn't really um she's about to cut his head off yeah he's kind of forced to yeah he's he's about to get his head cut off and he's like my mom's gonna be really mad (laughs) which is Mm -hmm. a great line but then of course she's distraught like well jesus dude what you're spider-man you haven't told me yeah it's it's an i kind of i was hoping like they they made him tell her in a different way i understand less confront like a bit like a less kind of like confrontational way like if it was like let's say a conversation and then it became a comfort uh, like a conflict yeah because she she's like in denial or mm-hmm. she's pissed instead of having to chase her and then you they're forced to tell her i would have loved a team up or something and then a fallout but i understand yeah. why they do this it would have been cooler if he just goes, hey, I'm Spider-Man. But as a teenager, does he have that sort of foresight? Peter did say, don't tell anyone. So yeah. I, I I understand story-wise and the uh, thought process. So I don't blame it too much. But I do I did enjoy a lot with the Tinker, especially where it ends. And I love that she's in denial and hates Rexon so much that she's just not listening. Regardless yeah. of what's said, Miles can say any. She even tells him the specs have changed on the machine. And if she blows it up, it's going to blow up all of uh, Manhattan, basically. Or half of Manhattan or something like that. And she's like, no, no, I'm right. Or And she just can't. She can't get it, get over it. And it's so so cool. 
seeing that slowly break down into into them like hey we're gonna have to just fight it out then and then they they have that super cool fight by the way i don't know if you did i got my ass kicked did you get your oh, ass kicked in the last um, battle you talking about between finn and a miles yes oh my god yeah like dude i got my teeth kicked in yeah. Like I was like, am I doing something wrong? <laughs> I yeah, literally was like, I, every time I try to get near her, she'd like hit me, and I'm like, come on, stop throwing me. I was getting wrecked. Good for her. Finn knew what she was doing. She be- she beat me like multiple times. I was losing my mind. Mm-hmm. Uh, but that was hand- that that ending, that the end, the actual end where where she does the jump. Oh my god. And, the, and then, like yeah, like the scene where she just in the air with holding him. Mm-hmm just let go and then you see the the electricity slowly come out and it's almost like angel wings is coming out like yeah. behind her too which it was such a beautiful image that was so cool and then mm-hmm. just boom and respect that they actually went through with the death i a hundred percent at the end was expecting her to walk around and be like i'm alive but that or she was like like not like she wasn't dead but like uh she was found by krieger or something or by some or by Oscorp, and she was like, "Oh, I'm gonna." Say, she he, maybe he can experiment on her, because mm-hmm. remember the ending has him looking at Harry, right? Whole Venom stuff in the in the tube. I want to talk about that soonish. We'll okay. talk about that closer to the end. Okay. I want to quickly since we hit Roxanne at the beginning there, we okay. talked about Krieger. Mm-hmm. My biggest disappointment ish disappointment. It's probably a little too strong. The weakest point, in my opinion, in the game, everything to do with Roxxon and everything to do with Krieger. I feel like Roxxon is just a lame Oscorp, if I'm being completely honest. It's just literally Oscorp again with a different name. Two, Krieger is the most bland villain probably I've, I've seen in a long time. He is a rich dude who is doing his invention regardless of it being dangerous how many times have we heard that again i i'm i'm a superman fan and i'm saying that i understand that's basically just lex Luthor with less dimension and that's that's like like it's an evil bruce wayne or whatever like it's just super lame and he nothing ever really happens with him either you just kind of like he's he's bad it's it's he's really just a setup for for finn and miles to fight yeah, pretty much. And if, if anything, do you uh, do you think that Roxanne could still be in like the Spider Man two? I mean, I think this was su- I think this was put to be resolved in this game. Or do you think it's just like Krieger is you know Miles' is an enemy as is uh, Oscorp is Peter's? I see where you're going with that. I think this was literally put there as a backdrop to the actual. Mm-hmm antagonist protagonist being finn and miles gotcha. like them fighting mm. i think i think this was a I, and i don't i never mean this to be rude i think this was more of a crutch for the for the writing mm. to have a, something have a global thing to fight to set up for finn and miles yeah this that's how i see it I right think- in of course if you disagree i just did not like it. it it just didn't seem interesting krieger did nothing interesting he was just again. I will say it again. The, just a bland villain where he was like, "I will make money regardless of people," and no other dimension is given to her. Something like um, just as as like a nothing. Like maybe he has some sort of dimension with a wife, and like Mister Freeze does, or you know, just something, just anything that gives him dimension, rather than just he wants to make money. Uh, that was a cool. That was cool. That was very cool. I thought Prowler was not even going to be really evolved in the game. I don't know why I didn't think that. Of course he would be. But not, looking back, it, that was silly for me not to think so. But I didn't think it's, Prowler was going to be involved. It's weird because I thought he would be more of your villain. I didn't think he'd fight Miles. At no point I did I was like, he's going to fight Miles. Like, as actually fight him. Like, like straight up like, yeah. hey, we're fighting like to the death. I don't really count the like uh, subway fight. That was more of okay. Prowler being like, you're going to die if you leave here. I'm not going to let that happen. I let that happen with your dad. I'm not letting that happen with you. Mm. And I feel like that's different than like what I actually expected was like them straight up fighting, not knowing who each other are. Yeah. I like him not knowing he's he's actually his uncle. Yeah. 
Cause they they did that pretty quick. They were like literally the first like like app mission. It's yep. Like, oh, hey Miles. Yep. And respect. If you want to get that stuff out the way, get it out the way. He knows who he is. We don't have to play the like game of him trying to hide it or or whatever. They know. Yeah. His mom knows. Like basically everyone close to him knows now. So like cool. Yep. Let's just let's not even worry about the yep. like secret identity thing. Cool. Even That's fine with me. The end, I mean the community like the main community people know. Yeah. Fine with me. Cool. Yep. It, it, it's 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 not a necessary thing of a superhero movie to always like ha- worry about your identity. It it works with some yeah. things. Batman, I think Superman works. It works a lot there. Yep. But not every Superman a superhero uh, has to like worry it's constantly. Some allies, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. I agree. Alex, we talked a lot about chinkaro relationships in the game. Do you have anything you want to bring up here? Something you th- agging that I haven't skipped on yet? Mm. I had something in mind and I lost it. Uh, since you've lost it, maybe I this will it. jostle your mind really quickly. What's your favorite suit? What's the main suit? Mm. The, those could be two different things. What's the main Ooh. suit you wore and what was your favorite suit? Those could be the same thing, just in case they're different. What are they? The main suit I wore and might be my favorite i don't know why it's always been even with the original spider-man movie, okay is the 2099 mm, that is an amazing suit i love i don't know why. i wore that I for probably most of the, the game symbol on that suit that I looks wore, so good I wore it as soon as i was able to get it it looks so good and it has a nice yeah. hoodie combination yep so it was actually it's actually between that one and the crimson cowl for me um, I usually swapped in between those. Generally, if it was nighttime, I put on Crimson Cowl, and if it was during the day, I put on the uh, 2099 miles. Yeah. The only I thing I would change the, cla- the regular suit for like the ending and like main parts of the game. So I changed at the very end because it 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 hit me in the in, in the heart area. I changed it at the very end to Uptown Pride. Because right before uh, I beat the game, I did all of the Spider-Man, yeah, um, yeah. friendly neighborhood Spider-Man stuff. Mm-hmm. And if you know what they do, they gift you a suit and put you in the Black Lives Matter uh, mural, which was beautiful. Very nicely yeah. done by the community. I thought that was really cool, and that really touched me. So I was like, oh, well, sure. my Miles in my head, Miles looks at that suit and goes, well, I have to, I wear, I'm repping this now. Like, this is my suit. So I, I kept that on for the rest of the game. Ah, I and so I, I i kept that on and, and flew around and that is a nice suit don't mm-hmm. know how a bunch of community people got together and made a hyper but hey you know what <laughs> don't, don't, worry about it. don't don't worry about it don't think about it it's cool who cares it looks mm. super dope i don't know if you've seen it but when you look really close there's like triangles and they like yeah. uh they're like different colorations so like they they like they're like holographic it looks really nice yeah. Uh, so I wore that to the end as, you know, as like a pr- like pride thing for the community. So that was yeah, that, that was cool. That's my favorite if we're adding on like meaning. But if we're going like what what my favorite costume period was, it's it's 2099 probably. Yeah. Even though the, the 2021 looked dope, but I didn't like it because it kind of it doesn't look good in cutscenes. I did not care for it. I like it. It just doesn't look good in cutscenes. It it it, it doesn't react yeah. well because you're meant to wear a, a mask like a, a a full mask, so it doesn't look good. Yeah. I think, and also, it really bothers me because you're you're. It, I don't know if you've noticed, but the dimension of Miles, right? Mm. Like he has a, a chest, sh- soldiers, and arms, right? Yeah. If you wear that suit, his shoulders are a little bigger. So, for instance, backpacks and things don't aren't put on rightly, and they key into him. So, like they're they're uh, like absorbed into his body, which it doesn't look right. So, I, I usually don't put stuff like that on because it just breaks the immersion. Yeah. Because I see a something like go through his sh- shoulder, and I'm like, all right, I can't wear that now. Mm-hmm. All right, that was favorite. I, 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 we don't really have to go into the mods or anything. I, don't, I think it's a little too much. Nah. A little too much. I just put on stuff that sounded cool. Um, yeah, I just put stuff that helps me. Alex, did you get the mm-hmm. platinum? Yes, I did. Congratulations. So, now, what did you think? You did have to play New Game Plus for that. Was that a little much? Did that upset you? No, not really. Honestly, I think because I, I finished it. I was playing Assassins, and I was like, you know, I'm still feeling Spider-Man. Right. So I was like, let me play New Game Plus. Okay. Well, because, I mean, you kind of I, I had to for the Platinum. Yeah, of I course. Really, my mind was like, I, I, ha- I want to Platinum. Mm-hmm. So I went back to it. 
and then New Game Plus it, and I did honestly. I just I I didn't do everything again, like the side missions and all that stuff. I just did straight story for the stuff that I needed. Yeah, I'm not going to. I'm just gonna do like um, what I need to do. Yeah, I just did straight main story, and um, I, dude, it was it was it was fun. That's good. I am two trophies away. Mm. I need to finish New Game Plus, and I need to um. Oh my god. What is it? You said New Game Plus. I have all this. Oh god. I'm not going to worry about do, it. I don't remember. Did you do the three coins of each? Uh, yeah. Oh yeah. Scene? Oh yeah. I did that. That was like the you first right thing I did. Yeah. I did right now. You did the Finn Rocket hit one. Yeah. Yeah. I did that. It's an easy one. I just don't uh, remember what it is. Not, no. Not the, mem not the memory one. I don't know what you're missing. Oh, it's fine. It, uh, it's fine. It, it's not a huge deal. I, I'm yeah. missing two, and they're super easy. So I'll yeah. get that done most likely within the next one uh, one to two weeks. Yep. Loved this game. Now, we've talked about relationships, everything so far. Alex, hmm. the ending. We've yeah. talked about the ending with Tinkerer, but end credit scenes. And then I want to talk about Spider-Man 2 after this. Okay. But let's, let's talk about this end credit scene. Now, there wasn't really anything new revealed this was it was basically the same cutscene we saw from the last game yeah harry is in the tube yep he has been uh, uh his father has been lying to peter and mary that he's been in paris he's not he is yeah he had a life-threatening illness he put him in a tube with the symbiote the symbiote yeah i don't know if that's what they're going to be calling it most likely they are but the yeah. symbiote venom whatever you want to say it is is in there doing something with him Which and is is it the first time harry's interacting with the symbiote I, I'm not you know with the comics it's one of those things where in mainline comics yes i am sure okay. there's a comic out there someone can tweet it at me that harry has mm -hmm. probably been venom before but in the main series no brock gotcha. um and you know of course pete yeah brock flash peter those are the main venomites that i get it of course not including any like crazy anti-venom carnage those are completely different ones um oh it 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 in, there actually it is in the show i don't remember the show uh in fact harry becoming venom is pulled directly from the ultimate spider-man animated series oh There's i like watched a little bit of those black suit harry's various appearance in ultimate spider-man show that he lost control of the symbiote and becomes more venom than spider-man ally dope yep that's Interesting. dope now i like the and i we can debate on where this is going mm -hmm. but i do like the idea that osborne is trying to heal harry Mm -hmm. through this experimental whatever you want to call it maybe they found it in like a meteor or something i don't know how they're gonna write in how they found this stuff mm -hmm. but this is cool i like where it's going i cannot wait until peter finds out this information mm -hmm. i'm assuming we're gonna start the next game he's gonna be out the pod and he's gonna go up to harry and either he's going to have been made to believe he was in paris or he has to lie to them or he's gonna be like ah something's going on mm. i'll be curious if they play out like a he doesn't know he's venom or something and he goes crazy every once in a while and like has blackouts and he just becomes venom you know it's weird it's saying that i guess maybe in that show the the when harry has the venom suit it's uh it's his host it becomes anti-venom interesting so I wonder if maybe they do that with the game, like they'll make him anti venom. Like, what was that Spider Man game? Web of Shadows or? Edge uh, of Time? no, that was Edge of Time. You're what you're thinking of? Edge of Time, the one with the anti venom. Yeah. Yeah, I wonder if they'll do something like that. Could be. I don't know if they want to get that crazy with it, because I I think these are really good because they're easily digestible. Mm -hmm. spider-man one was so good because you were introduced to doc ock you were kind of introduced with all the other sinister six um yeah. people but you were you were at least given cared for for one of them you cared for doc ock you liked the relationship with peter you enjoyed uh, how they uh talked and interacted and then it finds out later on that his disease is killing him he's trying to fix it he goes crazy while doing it and then he goes and tries to kill peter knowing it's mm -hmm. peter he's trying to kill in spider-man yeah. Like, that's that's where I think it's good. You find a base, 
you inform everyone, even though you know comics. That's a, that was surprising to everyone who even knew comics. As soon as we saw who he was, he was like, "Whoa, all right, I love it. We're going here. That's awesome." Mm-hmm. I think the strongest thing they can do with Spider Man Two is fresh and surprising to even someone like me who's read too many comics and will probably expect most things that is where i like and of course people who don't read comics and don't care is new to them regardless Mm. very exciting now i want to talk about a little more of spider-man 2 okay i ended this game and when you look at me and say hey spider-man 2 do you want to play as peter or miles i say miles immediately i don't want to play as peter how do you think they fix that because now i don't want to go away i have venom powers i don't want to lose them so why what i was gonna say um i prefer miles morales game versus the original yeah so i think pound for pound if we're comparing there's a lot less garbage in this game and i don't mean that as like a derogatory tame but like there's a lot of wasting (laughs) you're like you're like no i know what you're going and i agree there's a lot of time wasting if i'm being frank if i'm being honest in spider-man than in this game yeah there's a lot of padding in the other game where you gotta make the 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 test tubes you gotta fly through the pigeons you gotta go through the clouds you gotta do of smoke the hacking all of this stuff it's a lot. And in this, it's short, sweet, to the point. You have three challenges in each challenge zone. Stealth, traversal, combat. Mm-hmm. Go do those. Three star them all. That gets you with this thing. Boom. Do it. Do this one. It's even harder. Do this. It's even harder. This combines all aspects into one challenge. Do this one. That is, is perfect. And, of course, that's cheating. They've had an entire game to learn from that they brought yeah. to this. So that is half cheating. But I will bring it back up. What did they do to make you want to play as Peter again? I say they give you the Venom powers. Now, I don't know how they would go well, about that, but I think that's what well, they're going. That's, wasn't, that, wasn't the symbiote suit not in Spider-Man because they said they were going to put it in the next one? Well, no. So, well, I mean, yes and no. The reasoning they didn't want to put it in Spider-Man 1 is because the suit means so much okay that just putting it in the game is super lame and they're gonna do something with it story-wise like they're gonna do it so they don't want to put it in the game because first of all it doesn't make sense and second even if they did that kind of like makes it lamer so yeah i mean they have harry as possibly more likely gonna become venom yeah or i'm sure peter's gonna interact with the symbiote at some point of course and looks like we we might get some carnage action in this game um i think you're being hopeful <laughs> and and you're going and you're kind of basing that off nothing but i'm uh, with you with that one alex i would love to see carnage of course Venom, there's some somewhere there's a little bit of carnage somewhere there's cletus uh, cassidy just waiting to get some venom in him so he can turn yeah. into carnage yeah. all right in my mind alex there are two ways the next game can go i want you to say if there's a crazy third option you've thought of or if you agree with me with one of these option one the most obvious spider-man 2 is a co-op game starring peter and miles co-op game like what do you mean like you get to co-op game as in you get to play as peter or miles and someone else can join your game and play with you oh wow and that is the game you play as them you fight venom or whatever you want to call it and is a co it is a it is swing around together is a gotham knight-esque on it's not like a always online thing it's just you're playing they come in you play with them blah blah blah. option awesome but that's not gonna happen option two Mm -hmm. peter dies miles takes the mantle of (laughs) spider-man and is your main protagonist and now it is just you are just spider-man period you're you're miles as spider-man mm. and then there's the weirder option three where you just keep flipping back and forth from peter and miles mm. throughout the story like you did with this with spider-man yeah. one with peter mary jane yeah, mary, yeah. and yeah. and miles like once yeah um 
Third option is, in my opinion, the lamest. The first option is the coolest. The second option is the most daring, and I would want to see where that one went. I can see them do option two and three before they would ever do option one. Really? So you think they go? They wouldn't go a co-op over like over any circumstance. I feel, like, I feel like yeah, I would. I feel like they would kill off uh, Peter before they would go co-op. I don't know why, but I feel like they want to keep this game as a single player game. I I I can I agree with you. Because it, they can devote all their all their resources to the story instead of having to go back and do a bunch of server issues and stuff. Well, yeah, that's a lot of coding you have to worry about. That's a lot yeah. of, like you said, server ish. Even though you can finagle it, but but yeah, I I I am of two minds. I can see the co op mine. I I honestly I want them to kill Peter. I I think I want them to kill Peter. I want I want peter to get venom you, you want him to do kind of like a uh into the spider verse thing where they kill him off so i'm, I'm gonna pitch you my spider-man too okay harry comes out okay he kind of thinks he was in paris but he's his mind is messed up they they kind of like tr- yeah. thought put in my memories that he was in he paris him to where he thinks he was in there he is blacking out at random times or nights doesn't know what's happening peter finds venom once they fight whatever and then, whatchamacallit, uh, uh, Harry tells Peter eventually that he's blacking out and he doesn't know what's happening. And eventually he pieces together that he is Venom. And then he breaks it to him that, hey, man, you're this murderous dude that's eating people's brains. By the way, that's what Venom used to do. He used to eat people's brains. And that's figured out. That you eventually He eventually tries to fix him. It doesn't work. He tries to get Miles to help or whatever, whatever. They fight eventually something happens peter dies miles takes the mantle fights venom or fights peter venom like like the venom takes over peter and it like takes over his mind or something and the game ends with peter dying miles being a spider-man cut credits and credits are captain america coming you're in the avengers kid grabs him flies him in the jet (laughs) <laughs> next game yeah. spider-man and the avengers <laughs> yeah. you're like you know what you had me until the end there. <laughs> yeah. I mean, no but I'm for all of that and i mean i could i i've i'd switch some stuff but I, i'd be down for it okay what what's your dream pitch that that's basically my dream pitch i mean that sounds about right i was gonna say like you say they fight it out but i feel like during the fight he's losing but then he winds up taking his mask off just like what they did with finn and miles mm. and he starts harry starts getting more control of the venom like he like he does that thing where you know his his mask comes off or whatever yeah. mm-hmm. and he's like he's <laughs> like i can't control it is whatever. it gonna is he, it gonna be like that 70s show guy when he takes his mask and he has fangs now for some reason like a vampire <laughs> <laughs> you remember that from spider-man 3 um, why did he have vampire teeth <laughs> <laughs> but, um, i feel like he he starts uh, harry realizes that it's peter he tries to get control they wind up able to get the symbiote off of harry but then they realize that harry is dying without it oh so, so you have to choose you have to choose either to let him be venom and try to either have control or uh let him die but uh, like uh, that, or there's something that, then maybe they let him. He he makes what he makes the the thing to where he winds up. Harry winds up dying, but the symbiote winds up taking somebody else. Either like a, either like I said, either it can go to Spider Man, and now Miles has to fight Peter as the Venom, and maybe Peter becomes anti Carnage or not anti Carnage, anti Venom type of shit, or vice versa, or something happens. Hmm. All fun options, in my opinion. Yeah, I, I mean, they kill. They did kill. You know, um, Aunt May in the first Spider-Man. Yeah. Yeah. So I mean, they they they, they the, obviously the main stories are pr- like the first Spider-Man was pretty emotional. So I feel like the second one is just to be has to be just as emotional. <sighs> Man. So they have to kill somebody. Oh, oh! I just thought of something. They go. Do hit it. Hmm. Like they like uh, Venom, like like or so, like Harry winds up to like where he gives in to the Venom, so either Peter has to kill Harry, 
or he has to like like because Venom's gonna kill Mary Jane. Like he has to pick one. Like he has to choose either mm. Mary Jane. And he has to pick what somebody okay. one of them dies. Most likely Miles is not gonna die, but yeah. you know you have to pick. And, and huh. you know, of course, the thing is, he wants to pick Mary Jane, but something happens to where Miles winds up living. <clears throat> Look, the, the the bottom line for Insomniac, the, they can do whatever they want. Yeah. So so literally we're all options. We're going to love it. Yeah, yeah, and we'll love it regardless. Literally all options are on the table with them. So I'll be very interested to see where they take this. I have so far loved every adaption they've done so far. So they're two for two. Can't wait to see more. Alex, mm. final thoughts. And then we're going to go into our segment. Look, I'm going to put a little Hamilton in here. Okay. I want to be in the room where it happens when they do the storytelling. I do too, man. I and I know I know that's not possible. Those conference storytelling rooms and be like, can I pitch in something? Yeah, man. Yeah, let me pitch you a story. And I want to send this to inside. We're and I'll do that. I'm gonna tweet at Insomniac the time code for when we start pitching stuff, and then and then I'm going to tweet to it that they need to let us in on the story room for Spider Man Two. Now that the the story for Spider Man Two most likely already written scripted, but oh, for sure. we might be able to put in a side quest. <laughs> that'd, be funny. that'd be funny if they, they they hear us and they're gonna be like, "Fuck, scratch." <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! And speaking of scratching, I know I love to scratch eggs, so I'm gonna start scratching some Easter eggs. Alex, hit the jingle for our segment: Hatch, hatching Easter eggs. Hatch and eggs. <laughs> All right, this is the segment where we talk about Easter eggs in the spoiler cast version of the game. One of our Easter eggs, Spider Pig. Spider Pig is announced in one of the early J. Jonah Jameson podcast breakouts where he what starts angrily throwing around spider man he's gonna he's he's he said spider man spider kid the next thing you know there's gonna be a spider pig oh that's right yeah yeah yes 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 and of course you can jo- uh, visit this uh cemetery in harlem where you can pay respects to either your father's grave or ben parker's yep. grave yep mary and ben parker are side by side now very sad. Me, Aunt me. Very sad. The probably best Easter egg, Mike's Diner. Mm. Even real life superheroes get him, and yep. none other than immortalized in gold with his best quote underneath him stands so Stan sure. Lee, the legend himself, next to Mike's Diner, immortalized in our video game forever. Miss you. Of course, we get a small glimpse at a Wakanda flag throughout the game in one of the time capsules that Finn and Miles put out throughout the city. This clear nod to Black Panther's home country. And this means a little more knowing that, unfortunately, Chadwick Boseman did pass away. He did get a credits in, um, in-game. in They had a small memorial in the credit scene for Chadwick Boseman. Another one, Vanessa. William Fisk's old flame is in the vault in game. So there's a portrait of Vanessa. If you know, uh, if you ever watched Daredevil season one, yep. Yep. that's the chick he's crazy for. Yep. Now, the most scenarios for hire. During the miniature, take your Taylor Spider Spy. You'll gain access to several of Roxxon's private terminals to learn more about their plans and many illegal things. One terminal at the back of the room has a list of contacts that Simon is considered to use to get some of his jobs. And looking at the screen, you can identify each one. The first for a cat burglar who recently retired is, of course, Black Cat, who Peter Parker had a run in during the DLC. The second leader of the biker game is Tombstone. And then the latest is. Um, there's of course the science science center cameo. When when you're walking through the science center, if you interact with the movable box, you do see Peter and Doc Ock yep. walk by. That's before they met each other. Looked like that is before they didn't even know who each other was. He was still in like like middle school, I think. He was like for a middle school thing. And Peter is showing him like the how the box moves and stuff. Super cool. 
That is a, that is all the Easter eggs. I think it was maybe it was the beginning of high school. Sure. Okay. He he looked super young. I don't know. He he, he he's he says he's always in high school. So I have no I have no idea where this man is. Well, be well. Peter was already working with Doc Ock, and he looked around the same time, uh, like kind of the same ageish. And he, I, I mean, from what it looked like, he didn't work with Doc Ock until he was in college. Interesting. Okay. So I don't think he was working with him in high school. Okay. Um, and also, uh, this was from Reddit. Uh, they did not share where you can find it, but apparently, in a hideout. There's an inhuman Easter egg, a statue of Lockjaw. If you know who Lockjaw is, he is the little, uh, the big dog that helps them teleport around wherever they want. Mm-hmm. Whatever happened to that? Inhumans? Yeah. Um, Kevin Feige didn't like Inhumans, so he took it away and made it into a TV show. He, he stopped it from being a movie. He made it into yep. a TV show. He made it garbage, and then they canceled it. So that's what happened. <laughs> I mean, there was that, and then what? Though, what is it called? New Mutants. It's already like out for to buy and everything. Uh, who cares? <laughs> who cares? Okay, I saw that was out, and I was like, uh, okay, whatever. I'm sure. I'm sure somebody will buy it, and we'll probably just watch it, or they add it on. To Alex, mm. Spider-Man, Miles Morales, sport of the class. What are you leaving the achievers with? Hmm. I think we talked mostly about it, so it's definitely okay to say nothing. We talked a lot about the I game. I, I, I will I say one more. This game. Oh. I would then, probably agree. Yeah, me too. Yeah, then the, then the original. I, I'll say it like this. If, if someone came up to say, hey, you have to play either Spider-Man or Spider-Man Miles Morales. I'm playing Spider-Man Miles Morales for sure. So I yeah. guess that means I like it more. Yeah, okay, I guess it's crazy because it's a lot shorter, like story wise too. I mean, that chooses quantity or quality. Some people want quantity, some people want quality. I, yeah, sometimes want quality, sometimes I want quantity. This for sure, I want quality. I had a, it is okay to make a tight. First off, some people are saying this is like six, eight hours. No, it, it's pretty, it's it's pretty sizable game, especially if you're doing everything. You can yeah. probably speed run it and get it like seven ish hours. Um, I think if I did everything, I think maybe I'd, I think about fifteen hours. Yeah, definitely twelve to fifteen hours for me. Um, I didn't look at my time clock. I should have just to know what I was doing. But yeah, I the either. the PS Five time clock isn't great so far. I've seen a lot of definitely wrong things. I think it said I played Call of Duty Cold War for like twenty seven hours or something. Jeez. I didn't. I didn't. It, it's not. It's the clock isn't turning off correctly. So interesting. So I think it's a little broken, but that's neither here nor there. Alex, mm. thank you for joining me. I love talking about Miles with you. This yeah. was a fantastic game. I cannot wait for the next one. Yes, for and sure. we no can't. No matter what they do. No matter what they do. Hopefully, they listen to us a hundred percent. Yep. And of course, you should listen to me a hundred percent and go to Easy Achievers in your favorite podcast service or YouTube. Watch everything, or just give us a like somewhere. Like, comment, subscribe, share. Give it to a friend. Recommend us. Or if you want to support us financially and you have the bucks, remember, it's okay if you don't support, but we appreciate it if you do. You go over to patreon.com slash easyachievers, give us a dollar, plenty of tiers you can go through and utilize the service there. And, of course, we say at every show, utilize their DM service. DM me, and I will always read your question on the show. Any question, comment, concerns, thought, and or idea can, of course, be tweeted at me as well. That can, of course, be submitted too. We love you. Thank you for listening to this almost hour-long talk on Spider-Man Miles Morales. I have to go play some more Assassin's Creed yeah. Valhalla. Yes, I am planning on beating that before Cyberpunk. So I have three days. You have three days, Alex. We're we're December seventh is when we're recording this. I will not be beating it before then, but that is a story for another time. Remember, go chief.